something else. And that's just the truth. And so, um, no, I couldn't be happy because I feel like I, you know, when you're talking about having sexual partners in your life and you know what it feels like to have really good sex and then you have a partner who is really bad sex, you already had good sex. So now you're going to be like, I don't want this bad, terrible sex. I want to go back to the good sex because you've already had good sex. So I need that whoever I'm going to end up being with to top off the fucking put the cherry on top. <laughs> nah, it don't matter if he has money or not. Money is not money is not it. You see a lot of people who are in situations with people with money and um that still doesn't make you happy, you know? The dick do, okay? All right. It's the it, 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 the beep beep. That's where it beep be. <laughs> this ain't gonna work out if it ain't good. Eventually somebody leaving. <laughs> You know what I mean? So, right. Ooh, can I answer? Okay, I'm going to answer this one too. Your partner doesn't look quite the way they did when you started dating. How do you handle it? Well, I feel like if you love your partner, you're going to motivate them. You're going to motivate them. Hey, baby, let's go to the gym. Or, hey, baby, maybe like, you know, we should get on a diet together. You try to do it together first. Um, and just like motivate, you can't just like be like, you're fat and you're ugly and you, but you should definitely be like, babe, like, I remember when you look like this, like, you know, or when da, 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 it made me feel like this. And I, I like, excuse me, I, burp. I see that you're eating a lot and it's not healthy and you should care about your health. Like you just got to try, um, you just got to try different things. You know what I mean? But be nice about it. Don't be such a bitch. You know? All right. Am I calling someone? Someone wants to answer all of them? You want me to answer another one? Okay. <gasps> Which childhood experience has shaped me the most? I think my childhood experience that has shaped me the most is not being raised by my mom or my dad. And by that, I mean, I live with my mom. I live with my dad and my mom until I was, well, I live with my dad until I was four. I live with my mom until I was five. And then she worked three jobs. And then I lived with my grandmother. So I feel like living with my black grandmother, which was my father's mom, really has shaped me. Henceforth, why you look at me and y'all be like, oh, well, she's mixed, but then she sounds really black. Well, I was raised by a black woman. <laughs> um, and that shaped the fuck out of me. You hear me? She whooped my ass. She made sure that I was very... Um, involved in arts and um you know that I just was dope and she taught you pat me in the church um all of it so I would say that that's definitely something that has shaped my life it has made me into who I am um <clears throat> so yeah Have you ever engaged in sexual activity with a person of the same sex? Oh, if not, could you be with someone that has? Sure. That's how I answer that. <laughs> sure, sure. <laughs> um, I don't want to ruin this one, so I'm not gonna. Hmm, it's boring. If you could save, if you could only save one, your mother or your significant other, who are you saving? My motherfucking mama. Shit. My mother. I only have one. Oh, okay. Okay. This is a good one. Okay. This is a good one. You and your significant other finish having sex. While you are washing up in the bathroom, you overhear them starting to masturbate. What would be your response? Well, normally this would be a question asked to a man because most men ain't masturbating after they just had sex with a woman because they've already came and most men can't just do it back to back. But so um, I'll answer from my perspective as far as whatever, um, what I think with women, I mean, what I think a man should do, join back in because y'all be taking that shit um, personally. And it's just like, no, because sometimes y'all not always giving head. And a woman wants to come from the other way. And, you know, clitoral stimulation, orgasm, and having an orgasm penetrationally, if that's a word, is um, two different things. And sometimes you just, you, you know, the penetration is amazing, but then you be so heightened and you be like, damn, that was good that you want to get the other one, the masturbation one off. 
So men, don't take it personal. Um, you just join back in, join back in fellas. And, and you know, don't think that it's like you weren't good enough. You know, you may not be, but just look at it the other way. You know? Some of these are like not. All right. <clears throat> Have you ever dated multiple people at the same time? Yes. Do you think it's okay for, for people to do so? Yes. Why or why not? Well, I think that dating is dating. Uh, you know, um, if you really like someone a lot, you don't have to. But I think that like dating is not you being, you're still essentially single. You don't have a ring on your finger. Dating is not, you're my boyfriend. Dating is fucking dating. You're going on a date. You like this person, but you're not, you may not be getting what this other person over here is giving you. So I think you should date and have a great time because dating is dating. Yes. What are most of you afraid of and why? Oh, what are you most afraid of? Death. That's it. But I'm getting through it. Shit. Why be wilding? If you single and not town down, it's okay. Yes. What the fuck? I'm not just dating one person. Absolutely not. No. And like I said, I have dated one person if I really like them and if they're definitely keeping me stimulated in more than one way. But for the most part... If you're dating someone, you're not tied down to them. Fuck out of here. No. If someone called me and I just went on a date two days ago and it's another man who's attractive and he's, you know, making me curious and he's like, yo, you want to go get some food? Hell yeah, I'm going to go get some food because I'm not tied down to nobody. And yes, I love me an older man. I think I love older men more than I do younger. I don't like younger men at all, but I'm just saying like me and my age is what I'm saying. Ooh, give me a seasoned. Ooh, give me a seasoned one. Okay. Okay, no. I had distance dated before. Um, and it was cool. But he cheated on me. <laughs> and that's actually one of my really good friends now. We've been friends... Damn, that was 2009. We've been friends since 2009. Crazy. He's one of my closest friends, too. Um, But yeah, that motherfucker cheated on me. Shout out. Okay, I'm even gonna say his name. I'm not even gonna say his name. I was about to. But he know if he ain't here. But it's either one or the other feels like people are cheating when you're doing long distance and all this. And it's just like, ugh, no one has time for that. Jesus. Okay. I found out because he was, um, I found out because he was a, a club promoter and um, he would just get to the point where he didn't want me out because too many men, when he would throw these parties, too many men would try to talk to me. And so I was like, that's fine. I don't need to be out in the parties. So I would stay back. But then there was one time I was like, well, log me into your computer so that I can like, you know, um, I don't want to be stuck in a house all bored. You know what I mean? I'm visiting you and stuff. And so I was on his computer. Hell yeah. I was younger. I was 2009. I just said, went through his motherfucking laptop. Sure did. And saw he had some shit in there. And um, was like, you ain't shit. <laughs> and after that, I ended up leaving. I told him I was like, I'm leaving. And then he flew like four months later, flew to Chicago. At the time I was living in Chicago and was like, um... Can we please sit down? He flew. I did not ask on a flight or nothing. Just came knocking on my door. I was scared and was like, can we please just go sit at a restaurant and I'll let you answer. You know, you can ask me whatever you want. Can we just have some tequila shots? I was like, sure thing. So we went and we sat down at a restaurant, took some shots and like he literally let me ask him whatever I wanted to ask. And he answered it truthfully. And I was like, you know what? I commend you for that. And that's how we've been friends all these years uh, later. Cool as fuck. Oh, it's itch. But yeah. So. But yeah, a um older man. Woo. Woo. <clears throat> Woo. Oh, yeah, I didn't hit that no proper. But yes. 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 Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Yes. 
Have you ever hit a person of the opposite sex? Yes. <laughs> yes, I hit at a point in my life. <laughs> yeah, because basically, I might have did this more than once. I probably did it like twice. Because, you know, when you like are younger and, you know, a man be pissing you off and he don't get out your way and you just be like, look, I'm trying to calm down and he still want to fight and still want to argue with you. It's like you just got to slap him or something. So I probably did that. But also I was in a domestic violence relationship before when I was younger. And I was like, I'm not going out without a fight. And so, yes, I did hit that motherfucker. Surely the fuck did. Um, but yeah. So, I did. Yep. <laughs> um, what are your views on couples therapy or counseling? Um, and if your relationship was in trouble, would you seek it? Absolutely. Hell yeah. I think that you should seek therapy and you should go to couples therapy. I think you should exhaust all your options before you give up on the person that you say you love. And, you know, even if you guys don't agree on it or even if it was something that you feel like, um, even if you feel like it's something that like wasn't that big of a deal or if your views on couples therapy is like you don't believe in it, you should still do it whatever you can do to save the relationship. So yes, I would seek it. Yes. Hmm. Do you want do you want kids or more kids? If so, how many and what qualities do you have that you feel would make you a great parent? Well, I am a parent. And I'm a great parent. And do I want any more kids? Hail to the no. Have you ever had a one night stand and would you ever do one again? Yes, I have before in my life. And sure, maybe why not? Still got a lot of life to live. If you were to cook for me right now, what dish would you make? I'll make you a stir fry. Asian stir fry with rice. And you're going to eat that motherfucker. <laughs> um... Okay, someone. this one said, did I receive beatings and whoopings uh, when I was younger? Yes, I did. I got my ass whooped by my grandma. Okay. They keep asking. Some of these asking more the same ones. <gasps> Describe your current relationship with your exes. Some I'm cool with, some I'm not. <laughs> Could you continue to be with someone who you are no longer physically attracted to? Why or why not? I think so because it's not some guys actually I, I'm gonna say this I don't think I have a type is necessarily physically attracted to but they stimulate me mentally so I feel like yes I could be with someone that I'm no longer physically attracted to and that someone called me sorry 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 it paused now to order food <laughs> I'm back I'm back I'm back baby I'm back I'm back um, yeah, but where was my last question? Was it the, could you be with someone that you're no longer physically attracted to? Yes, I could be. And for me, like I said, I don't look at, um, just this as, you know, I give a fuck about this and this. <laughs> for real though. Um, okay. Your significant other develops a uh, serious illness and can no longer perform certain conjugal duties. He gives you a free pass to get sex elsewhere. Would you use it? Why or why not? Yep, if he's giving me that pass, absolutely. No question about it. If my partner is like, babe, you know what? You I, you can't, and I'm supportive and we still have this energy and we still love each other. Absolutely, I'm out of there. Gotta go. And I'm still gonna support you, but... See, a man who loves me is also going to understand my needs, too. And that's just the truth. So, yep. Yep. And that's why we're in a relationship, because he understands me and I understand. <laughs> ah, okay, y'all. That was a really fun card game. But, yes, make sure you guys go get yours. Sticking with your man is still sticking with your man. 
It is. If he's just if he's telling you like, hey, like, you know, that's like you being shut down and it's like he's supporting you. But you still want your man. You love your man. You want him to be able to, you know, get 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 that off and have. Sure. Go ahead. You know, do you, boo? I still love you. And if he's there for you 100 percent and, you know, he still makes you feel amazing. Like. It's almost like when you think about relationships, when you think about relationships and it's like. You break up with somebody, right? And folks just think you're not going to be like sleeping with other people outside of that. It's like, that's what happens in life. When you break up with somebody, you end up going and being with someone else. So like, why are we so hard on each other when it pertains to like being in relationships? Every relationship to each is their own. To each is their own. You have people who swing. You have people who do certain things, you know, threesomes, whatever. But when you break up with somebody, it's like people who are in a relationship with somebody feel like you own a person. You don't own that person. And as soon as y'all break up, he's, he and she, he or she is going to go and sleep with somebody else. That's just the way of life. So like folks got to just stop tripping. You got to look at life differently. I don't know. I don't look at life the same way that y'all look at life. I'm also just not a person who's jealous and I really could give a fuck less about what any human wants to do because I feel like a human is going to do whatever the fuck they want to do. And I don't got time. I got two kids. I don't got time for a third one. All I ask is that as a human, you let me respect you by being 100% honest with me, by being truthful. That's all I ask for outside of that. Do the fuck you, okay? Because no one has a fuck time. And let me tell you something too. I feel like I'm a woman who can't give you everything and I don't want to give you everything. And as long as we have that conversation about what it is that I can't always give you, then maybe then, therefore, I'll tell you to go get it somewhere the fuck else. But I can't be your cook, your chef, your mama, your papa, uh, 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 your partner, you know, your lover. I can't do all those things and still try to care about myself. So mm, that's how I look at life. Just not trying to get fucked.